Welcome back, y'all, to Christ for Homemaking. My name is Sister Shanice. If you are new here, I am so excited to be having this next video. This is actually going to be a silent video, but I had so much um, to tell you guys and so many updates. Words just could not get it all in. So I said, I will just do a voiceover this time. And then maybe next time I will do a silent video. But I am so happy that you guys are here today. I am super excited this past week has been full of accomplishments and many, many things getting done. I am so excited to announce that my newsletter is finally up and running. If you have not subscribed to my newsletter, it will be linked down below in the description box so that you can be able to um, subscribe so that you can get that monthly newsletter. It will only be sent out monthly. I will not spam you with a billion different emails one time a month just some encouragement to get you through your day to day and so that um may's newsletter has already gone out if you still want may's newsletter definitely um comment down below and sign up for the newsletter and i will see your email and i will shoot it straight to you but i am so thankful because uh jesus missionary she helped me tremendously to get it out on time um, she was able to read over it before I sent it out and gave me some different things to look for in the future and some things that needed to be changed um, at that moment and so that was truly a blessing to have the woman of God help me out with that When I was coming up, there was not a godly example in my household. There was nobody who was teaching me how to be a little girl, how to grow up, and how to even know who Jesus is. Those was not things that I was taught when I was coming up. And so being at a disadvantage as being a child of God is something that many of us experience coming to Christ is that we are like learning things all over again because we have to remember that just because we may have been learned them does not mean that they are right. As a mommy to three, I have to admit, I do not take care of my health the way that I should. And that is an area I've prayed about because I do want to get better um, in that area so that I can be able to be healthy so that I can take care of my family. And so I'm super excited to share this product with you guys today. That was one thing that I was not taught growing up was how to take care of my health as being a woman as far as even just menstrual cycles or hygiene. That was not something that was taught. And so I was super excited when Vita Authority reached out and wanted to send me their detox, nourish, uh, metabolism and digestive health. Uh, super super good I got the pink lemonade flavor and so I was super excited to try this product because I like I said I'm not I don't take care of myself the way that I should and I did notice a big difference throughout my week that I tried it was that I did not have a lot of gas like I normally do y'all I have a lot of gas and bloating and crampiness and I'm not gonna say that it completely went away but I did not have as many problems as I normally have it helps to increase your natural energy, it supports your metabolism and digestive health, and reduces bloating, which is something I deal with a lot of. And that is one thing that we as women really need to, you know, be intentional about is taking care of our health. If we don't take care of ourselves, we cannot take care of our families. Even though we are people, as women, we will still push and we will still be doing things even if we're sick and not feeling good. But how much the more that we take care of ourselves to be proactive with our health. I did end up putting it over ice um, later on in the day because I was getting very hot in the kitchen while I was cooking. And so I was able to just drink this as I was finishing up dinner on this day. Being a godly mother is not just managing the affairs of your household. It's so much more than that. It is the mediator, the person who's praying, who's taking care of herself so that she can take care of her family. 
the one who's taking care of her children, who's teaching her children the scriptures, that they can grow in the things of God, that they can learn to love the Lord Jesus for themselves. When things happen, she's not quick to yell and scream and to have harsh discipline, but she's quick to show the love of God, to chastise and teach. Being a godly mother is not something that is inherently in us. It is something that is learned through women of God who are aged, who are godly mothers themselves, and who have been taught in the ways of the Lord. You may say, well, Sister Shanice, your children are older. How are you learning to be a mother? When you become a child of God, you have to relearn things. Being a mother in the world is different from being a mother in Christ. And there were so many things I had to unlearn that I had adopted for myself as being right. The things the world teaches you that's not entirely scripture. The things that the world will tell you is okay when it comes to raising children. And again, you have to unlearn those things so that when we are teaching our children, when we are raising our children, we are doing it the way the Lord would have it to be done. Because ultimately, they are not our children. They belong to the Lord. And how He would raise them is not how we would. So yes, it is a continual learning process and I am learning every day. My children are continually changing and growing and coming into being different. They are not the same children they were three years ago or two years ago. They're not the same. And so as mothers, if you are a mother, you know that your kids change and sometimes you have to adapt and adjust to their changes. And so we have to be able to adapt and change according to the word of God as our children change. I will say it is definitely not easy because I did not grow up with that example, but I truly thank God for Jesus Missionary um, for helping me and teaching me and showing me how to be a godly mother. Even though I'm still learning, that is something that I truly hold dear because I have noticed just a change in myself and my children and just being able to sit back and see the things that my children are able to, you know, partake in that I did not have growing up. Hugs. There were many hugs. Someone telling me that they loved me and I was beautiful and teaching me things and taking the time out with me. Meal time. There were not community meals as far as like us sitting down as a family and eating together for, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Those things were not happening. There were times there wasn't even food to eat. So the fact that I have the ability to cook for my children and to feed my children healthy from scratch meals is a blessing. And I am truly thankful for that. But yes, I have to learn and unlearn so many things. And sometimes that's not going to be easy because there are so many things that are ingrained in us, things that maybe our parents have taught us or family members or we've heard through friends or something that we've watched. And yeah, they may sound like good things, but that doesn't always make that true. But if you've made it this far, I am so glad that you guys are here and spent some time with me in this very short video. <laughs> it's very short, but I'm so glad that you guys are here. I do encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload another video. And I'm so excited that you guys are here. All links will be down in the description box. My name is Sister Shanice and I'm signing off. Peace. <laughs>